This season, I divided my garden into sections, starting with the salad section. This is an array of Swiss chard, kale, cilantro, spinach, broccoli, onions, uh, romaine, radishes, beets, peas. Did I miss anything? I think there's some turnips in there as well. This next section has some great walkways so I can get around and pick weeds. It also has a big open spot and I'm looking for ideas to plant. But these are my radishes and beets. And as you can see, beautiful colors makes me really excited to see the product that will come out. Mint is a great repellent, so you'll see it a lot. It helps keep the bugs away from my beautiful tomato plants, as well as some squash and zucchini in the back. Here in the front is a bunch of romaine plants, and you can see the tomato plants behind them. And then this is a whole row of onions, which I just clipped this morning, and they're just doing and growing beautifully. I do need to pick some weeds, so try not to pay attention to them. In this lighting, it's really hard to see, but there are some peppers and eggplant. And in these two potters, I have a mix of borage and also some other herbs. This section I'm working on with a few sunflowers and um, a cucumber plant. There is also a lot of romaine, and I've planted cantaloupe and watermelon in these two sections. And here are some purple green beans mixed in with some romaine and a section of cabbage which just looks more and more beautiful every day next to some sage and dill and my potatoes are one of the most favorite parts of my garden next is a section that i really need to weed <clears throat> but there's onions and garlic and another victory potato plant there's also some beefsteak tomato plants behind these rapinis which are growing more. Every time I harvest, it grows back. It's an amazing plant. My first year with them, and I love them. This is a section most of my friend's children helped me plant. It is an array of everything from spinach to Swiss chard, carrot, another victory potato plant. Uh, I think there's some radishes in there, and who knows? Here's another section next to the kids' garden. My son has put seeds in as well as played in this great area. I'm still working and there's still stuff to plant. Within this bed here, I have lined it with some radishes to keep the pests away, as, as well as some borage. I have a few potato plants and some garlic growing. Then these are broccoli plants that aren't doing as well as I'd like, and also some romaine. These potters have kale and romaine, there's a squash plant as well as a cantaloupe plant also. And then down this row, you will see there's uh, beans coming up as well as this is a section of peas that just look so good. I sowed the bean seeds much later, so they're just starting to sprout. And there's a victory cucumber plant. Maybe it's a squash. It will be a surprise. There's my beans starting to come up. This is going to be a really cool viney section. There's going to be green beans, and then here are my beautiful sunflowers. I planted a lot of them. That really big one I um, kept inside for a while, which is why it's bigger than the others. There's also more radishes and beets, and I believe herbs. These won't be ready yet, not for a while anyway. And then right across the street is that tomato section with the lettuce, the mint. And there's my salad section again. I even snuck in some celery, hoping the peas keep them shaded. So this is my garden right now. We're gonna go out, we're gonna pick more stuff. Um, we're gonna keep you posted on all the things. Keep sending your questions. I love answering them and stay tuned. Grow your own food. Tiff's Garden.